we are going to go certainly into the beginnings of the Islamic history of Hind. We're going to look at the relationship that the Muslims, the early Muslims had with Hind. We might even cover some of that today. We're going to be looking at the early, early Muslim converts in Hind, you know, to Islam, as well as, um, you know, the, or if, sorry, during the time of the the uh, Sahaba and the Tabi'in, the Tabi Tabi'in, those early generations, and then of course the um, the expeditions that are then sent by the Khulafa, uh, in particular the expedition of Muhammad ibn Qasim to Sind. Right, so he sends the expedition to Sind, and then from there you'll see a number of raids that go into India. Uh, and um, you'll see all of Sindh becoming one major, major Indian, or sorry, major Islamic province of the Abbasid period. And then, of course, we're going to be speaking about the foundation of the Ghaznavids. This is going to be very interesting because most of us don't know about the Ghaznavids. And this might even be the first time that some of us have even heard of this name, right? But essentially, the dynasty that was founded by Mahmud of, Ghaz, of Ghazna, um, right? So the Ghaznavids, we're going to be looking at how they ruled over parts of India and, and northern India. And then those, um, the changing of those dynasties eventually into the emergence of the Sultanate of Delhi, right? This is a Memluk state. Interesting, you know, because most of us, we've probably heard the word Memluk before, but we associate it with another group, right? What's that other group? Where is that other group located? Where the, where's the more famous Mamluks located? Anyone Egypt? know? Yes, that is correct, right? In Egypt, yes. So the more famous group of Mamluks is located in, in Egypt. However, prior to them taking over, there was a Mamluk dynasty in, in Hind, in India, which was known as the Sultanate of Delhi. And then we're going to be covering a number of those various branches of the Sultanate of Delhi, including something very interesting, including the life of, of one uh, Sultana, if you will, right? Razia Sultan, uh, you know, so that should be very interesting. Um, you know, she was uh, uh, the leader the Sultana of the Sultanate of Delhi for a brief period of time, but nonetheless, you know, made her historical waves in being one of the very first uh, Muslim, female Muslim rulers. And then, of course, we're going to be looking at the decline of the Sultanate of Delhi, primarily after the defeats that they suffer under Timur, and then after the Timurids, the rise of the, the um, you know, they, they actually, they, you know, it's interesting because Babur, Babur, you know, the founder of the Mughals in the very early period, they were still considered Timurids. You know, they were still considered Timurids. So we're going to see the rise of those Timurids under Babur, and then, of course, um, the rest of that story, the rest of that history will be covered in the future course that will be offered, inshallah. 